Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're looking at another 2DS fix. This time the charge port has been destroyed and can no longer receive a charge. Which means we have a perfectly functioning DS, but no way to give it power. Now there is a kind of quick fix in a way for this. If you have another DS or 2DS, you can simply charge the battery inside, unscrew these two screws, just two, it's pretty easy, and then take the battery out of, of this one and the other one and kind of swap them. So one charges in the other and, that, and then this one gets to play through the battery charge so you can do it that way it works it's fine um, maybe if you have an old DS laying around that you don't use also if you're not using the 2DS at all and your issue is with the 3DS you'll notice that there are two contacts metal contacts on either side of the charge port. Now if your charge port is broken, what you can do is you can get a dock that will charge your DS and it uses these contacts rather than using this charge port. Now those aren't really the best solutions but they are workarounds and they do work but um, today I'm going to show you how to replace the charge port See, we got a little replacement right here. We're going to open it up. Um, and we're going to use a soldering iron in order to replace it. Remove the old one and replace it with this brand new one. So let's get started. go and we're going to want to take a look the charge ports right here and it's soldered on the other side of the board so that's what we're gonna need to do we're gonna need to desolder it on this side remove the solder to free up this charge port then we're going to stick the new one through the board and re-solder it back on this side. So this is the soldering iron. It comes with this stand. It comes with the sponge to um, clean the soldering iron. It comes with these sharp hardware pliers that snip off any unwanted wires or hardware. Tweezers. Um, comes with a lot of um, solder. It comes with a desolder. Comes with like everything you would need to just get going and solder. And it's very, very nice. It's um, on Amazon. It's like $15. It's pretty great. We're going to want to. melt a little bit of solder on the tip of the soldering iron. This way the soldering iron doesn't get too damaged. And you're going to want to open a window 
You don't want to be in an enclosed room while doing this because of the fumes of melting metal. Get this desoldering going. I'm going to want to melt. There you go. What we're doing is we're melting. We're going to need to add more solder to the tip. And then we're going to need to melt this part again and suck it up so the desolder sucks up the metal and the solderer melts it so we're going to place that right in there switch it off for safety so there's two soldering points right here too that we need to remove okay the heat has uh, conducted to the charge port so it's a little hot sure to be careful about that. Now we're gonna get some different tweezers. I want to try to get it out of there. Okay, we successfully removed the charge port. You can see clear through to the other side. A little bit of debris on this one. Let's see if we can't clear that out a little bit. There we go. Okay. So now, get our brand new one. Very nice, very nice. And we're going to stick it right through these holes. Just two ones on the very, very back. Those are keeping the rest from going in. So we could get the front two in, but not these two. What needs to happen is we need to cut these two back ones right here. Oops. little bit more there we go now we're going to need some soldering action
Okay, so we've soldered this side. We've soldered the contacts there where the charge will flow through. Now, let's see if it works. Now, if you're doing this and you're, you really just want to know if you soldered correctly, if the charge port works, um, do not plug in the DS until you have the back on and the battery plugged into the back. I mean, even if you haven't screwed it in all the way, put all the ribbon cables in, you're going to want to have the back in and the battery in place. Don't plug it in until you do that. Okay. I want to match up these contacts with these three right here. I'll put it in and slide it. There we go. Now, we're looking for, we're looking at this charge light right here. So, we are going to plug it in. And it's charging. There you go. We have successfully changed out the charge port for the new one. I hope that this was a helpful video for you. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. If you like this video, if it was helpful for you, then uh, give it a like. Share it with uh, someone who might benefit from it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.